Oh hey guys, I'm back to more Let's Play JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R Part 2. Last time we beat Phantom Blood and we beat Battle Tendency Part 1. So let's do Part 2. Here we go. Let's do the extra missions first. We're going to play as Karn. We're going to battle Funny Valentine. Valentine starts with three quirks, part 2886, continues the usual. Players attack the thief. Oh, this is going to be the hardest one. And even more annoying. Board effects. Oh, let's do Uni Jazz. No, I just saw. Highway go goes nutrient absorption. Well, you can only carry three support effects. Three. Wow. Trying to block my guard. Okay. Come on, bro. Oh. Okay, that's funny, Valentine. And what state did he appear in? Did he appear in Star Ocean? On. He's using his flag as a shield. Come on. And yes. There we go. Oh, cool. I'm the ultimate life form. Let's see if I can use. Manless, the ultimate being born. Whoa. Heh. <laughs> this is gonna be the idiot throw. Come on. Come on, stop dodging me. Come on. What's funny, Valentine's Jan user? Okay, let's do these. Is there any manless that I could use? Healing and bone blade, yes. That's how victory is gonna be at this point. Whoa! You're gonna run me over, you stupid horse. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just beat him. There's no point. I'll show him. He 
you can slip through the dimensions. Whatever fourth thing you have, it ran out when you met Carr. Okay. On to the next panel. Right, my frame rate keeps dropping. Let's do this one. There's four of them. Where Wamu fights against old Joseph Joestar. Wamu, why are you alive? Jojo, Wamu requests a battle with you. Oh no. Okay, what's up? First set. The missions. Mm. Brook Hammer. Or Divine Sandstorm. Why not? Come on. Yeah. Got you, Joseph. What are you satisfied with, Wamu? Oh, come on, really? You caught me with your hermit purple? Your usual ultimate move on me. Okay. If I could lower his health. Come on. Keep going. Use this. Atmosphere grip. Huh. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Dramatic finish. Thank you for giving me the chance of a to fight a warrior like you a third time. Six bullets. That must be me, this Dan user. Six pistol. Well, okay, now it's set. Caesar versus Gyro. Gyro's Zeppeli. Submission of Judah of Mean. Okay. Well, that's fine. No, no, no. Battle and special rules. Sword effects and easy beat settings. Let's attempt this battle. He's got a style called Mounted. So that's why he's not a stand user. Only for friends and crease. So there. Oh, hang on, I can reload it. Alright. Alright, Dito. An opponent's attack increase. Yeah, have we met someone? I feel like I haven't met Dito, but he does seem like a stranger. A steel ball? That's an unusual style. Care for a weapon? Okay. Come on, Gyro. Well, he's got a horse he's using. Like what whole horse does. So let's see his, his ultimate move. Burn back. A projectile weapon that fires a barrage of bubble cutters. High attack, 
not the opponent that I want to finish him below. Was this the one where where Caesar was training in Joseph under the orders of Lisa Lisa? Bubble barrier. Try a combo move. Bubble barrier. Nice. Bubble cutter. Let's go some lens to lens. Burn burn black. Oh. It's a lot of bubbles. I may be a pushover before, but no one can beat me now. Whoa, there's a lot of corks. Come on. Really? Come on, Jeremy. Thank you. Oh, cool. Bubble bear. Oh, come on. I dodged it. Oh, oh, there goes the chariot. Not strong enough. Now it is. A. I feel some sort of connection here to you. That steel ball. He appeared in Steel Ball Run. That other guy that Caesar fought. What's his name again? Hold on a minute. Gyro Speedwagon. That's his. No, Gyro Zeppeli. It wasn't Speedwagon. That's Gyro. Gyro Zeppeli. Does he appear to be the son of, of Caesar or the brother? I can't tell. Let's play as Lisa Lisa versus Robert E.O. Speedwagon. Okay, we did the missions without losing a round. Maybe if I could try that, it's probably going to be easier. Alright, so it's out of round. Whoa. Oh, come on, dude. I'm kind of strong. Wow. Not enough to take him down. Come on.
Okay, that's that's a counter move. Yeah. Did Lisa Lisa appear to be Joseph's mother? I'm curious. Did it. Oh, there goes Speed Wagon. Why do you look like that? Don't tell me you used the stone mask. He didn't use the stone mask. Oh, this is Wamu versus Post Caesar versus Wamu. Okay, let's just do this one first. Joseph versus Caesar, one round battle. It's gonna be special. So this is the one episode where, where Joseph met these pigeons and he said, Coo, coo, and it's kind of making me laugh. <laughs> Forget it. Your homo could never even beat this girl. All right. Let's do it. Come on. Let's see here. The fan list. Next line is Okay. Rebuff overdrive. Yeah, he does the your next line. It's just making me laugh. It's just a five hit combo. Okay, that's not enough to take him out. Now it took him out. I'll say it one more time. He still couldn't even beat a pigeon. Yeah, he couldn't beat a pigeon for sure. <sighs> Thank you. What I'm going to do is do this. Lisa Lisa versus Cars. The player's defense is increased. The player's homo gauge only fills by a homo breath. Hmm. Doesn't make sense, does it? Secret missions. Which style should I use? Come on. This command list should I use? Super Asia. Get away. Q 
futile. No, what? Not one move wasted. Come on. Are you gonna t keep attacking me? Oh, come on. You gotta get close. Come on. Oh man, cars is crazy strong. Oh, great. He's going to use his ultimate move on me. He's using light mode. Whoa. Come on. No, it didn't work. Okay, round two, fight. Wow. Keep filling it up, Lisa Lisa. That hurts. Yes. There we go. Not much combos there. I could just keep attacking cars. There. That's more like it. This scarf was woven from Sari Poroha Beetle Thread, which can fully conduct Hamon energy. It's a radar, too. How could it be a radar? Radars are supposed to be made out of machines, right? Okay, next is Joseph versus Wamu. I remember that episode of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure when he, when he and Wamu used a chariot in a race at a coliseum until later he had his head chopped off. It's kind of messed up, don't you think? Right alongside me, Caesar. Okay. Oh, come on, dude. It's time to bring down a hammer. He used that in the episode, didn't he? Oh, come on. He did that same stunt that he did with Strazo. Cool. Great combo, bro. Seriously, stop. Come on. Wow. He must have been using his head as a wind. Wamu's element is wind, just like Jin from Yu Yu Hakusho and Jinkaria from Bleach. Uh oh. At least I avoided that somehow. Uh, 
I'll show him. Yeah, you are pretty cool, Joseph. Let's see, what's this move? But now you've angered him. Let's do it like this. Oh, he blocked it. That counter hit could really do some helping. Is he gonna dance? Come on, Walu, get up, man. Oh no. Huh. You didn't dodge it enough, Walu. So have you ever read the manga Jojo's Bizarre Adventure or series? Have you ever read all the mangas? I never did before, but I watched the anime and it was great. I mean, the, remember the to be continued ending with the song The Roundabout on from Battle Tendency and Phantom Blood? To, no, from Phantom Blood through Battle Tendency. And the second, the first ending of Stardust Crusaders was Walk Like an Egyptian. And then, what else was there in that uh, second ending? That, that train home and, and Diamond is Unbreakable. I want you in every episode. Okay, let's do Caesar versus Walu. Players attack decrease. Totally not good. Yeah, I've seen that already. Let's do it. Let's use some support effects. Board effect increased. Oh, look, it's the sword of Anubis. One polar of thought. In Stardust Crusaders in Egypt, this is when they went to when where Joseph and the and company went to Egypt to fight against Dio because Dio cursed his mother Holly. It's kind of messed up. I mean, who in the world would ever? Curse have a curse a victim. Oh, come on. You bubble cutter, dude. He blocked it. Unbelievable. Come on, use the hormone breathing style, bro. Come on. Now you're trying to make me angry. Bubble launcher. Wait. Enough. He just keep hitting me with a pillar. Since when did he keep picking up a pillar? Seriously, what's wrong with you? 
Okay, that'll work. Yes. Oh, okay, let's see here. What's the command list? Let's see here. A projectile weapon that surrounds you with bubbles that have been changed into discs and fire them at your opponent from a low position. A low attack, holding down the attack button holds the bubbles lying in the air. Releasing the attack button fires the bubbles. You can't move until the button's released. It doesn't deal harm or damage. Like this? Oh, come on. Dude. Oh, come on. Oh no. Whoa. Man, it's impossible to get to avoid that ultimate move that Wamu uses. I mean, seriously, what in the world could do that? Come on, dude. Stop kicking my butt. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Stop. Hmm. Oh, no. Wow, we didn't see that coming. Finish him off, Caesar. Your vapor barrier is like a giant fan, sucking my bubbles right into your body. It's like a vacuum. Congratulations. We beat Battle Tendency. Yes. Next up, Starters Crusaders. Let's see. Three parts of Starters Crusaders. Octol versus Giacchio. Giacchio. Giacchio is an ice type. Stan user. He's been eating gelato a lot. I remember Giacchio. Yeah, him. From the Golden Wind that Mista and, and Giorno fought with. He was riding, his car, riding their car to head to the boss's place. To Diavolo. Yup, I was right. He is ice. He's evil. Let's see if I could try using a stand user. Crossfire Hurricane Special. Give me four wishes instead. Was this the one when he, where Polnareff fought that fa evil genie who brought the fake Sherry back to life and the fake Avdol? And it turned out they were evil flesh eating clay monsters. And that was really messed up and Avdol beat them. Now let's carry on. Oh, is this the guy? Let's see if I could try fighting him. 
using a stand user. When a stand user gets hit, I don't know. If a stand gets hit, the stand user takes damage severely. Man, I'm good at this. Come on, after all. Yeah, fire melts ice. Oh man. How does ice not effective against fire? Come on. Whoops. Come on, dude. Let's see another command list. Horizontally, right. I mean, that ought to help. Come on. Okay, just throw him. Okay, seriously, just throw him, bro. Abdul, get up. Man, he's strong. Chiakio is tough. He's got a high defense. Come on. Let's see you handle this. Uh, that was in, let's see what would an attack that covers you in an angle of fire. High attack sends the opponent flying with a finishing blow. Oh, I get it. Come on. We're almost there. No, no, no. Almost got it. Wow. I failed. No, I'm not gonna, oh, let's see here. Okay. From which skill should I use? Hand mode. Let's see here. What's my chance? Seriously, stop, bro. Whoa. Come on, Giacchio. Take this, man. Oh man. Yes. Take that. Your stand ability is very impressive, but I would advise you to learn to control your temper. Hmm. A B? Okay. That's fine.
Yeah, the extra missions is gotta be the what if. Right? Okay, did amazing. Let's do Jotaro Kujo versus Robert E.O. Speedwagon. Uh, Jotaro Kujo's catchphrase is good grief. In the Japanese version, he always says yari yari daze. Oh man. Stan user is Star Platinum, and he does the oa oa oa. I remember one of my favorite battles of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders when he fought that. That faith captain. And he also fought. Let's see here. Who did he fight? Dan of Steel. Let's see here. Who else? He fought Kakyoin in the second episode. Let's see here. He fought. He fought Talents J. Darby. Oh man. That hurt. Okay, that really hurts. Let's see if I can use Star Platinum so I can do Aura Aura Aura. Cool. Let's try this on. Try another one. I know it's kind of annoying, isn't it? But he likes to say Aura Aura Aura. Huh, don't worry, I'm going easy on you there. Let's see if I can try the, the ultimate move. Yeah, the English voice actor of Jotaro Kujo in the anime is Matthew Mercer, who does the voice of Leon Kennedy. Come on, bro. Star Platinum. You're going down. And he uses the world. He used his ultimate move on Dio. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Huh. How could I get hit when he got beaten? You're pretty young to be running a foundation. Get that was long. All right. I remember when he, where Jotaro fought that, that guy, that blind stand user. In Egypt. I mean, I remember unless he turns Jotaro into a kid. I mean. You can't never underestimate him just because he's a kid. Oh, is that Mandata? Oh my goodness, it is Mandata. Also known as Boingo. He's got an older brother, like Oingo. Oh, it's Pet Shop. Shigekyo Yangu. That Shigech, Shige, that Shigekyo, the annoying dude. He's the dude from Diamond is Unbreakable. And he got killed by Yoshikage Kira. I remember Shigekyo was being, was right, was being angry, was really upset when, 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 when Kira framed, when that dog framed, framed, framed Josuke for a sandwich. That was in episode 21 of Diamond is Unbreakable. And Kira put the hand on the bag. I know if I get a sandwich out of my bag, you're going to have to swipe it. Yeah. That's a bird. Pet Shop Stand user is Horus. Now we gotta use flight mode. He's got ice ability. And the caw caw skill. Gotcha. Scree. I remembered. Iggy fought against Pet
headshot by smashing his beak in the process. Kind of crazy. Okay, when you're using flight mode, you gotta make sure you watch your meter. Oh, yeah, his stand is kind of annoying. Let's see if I can use that ultimate move. Seriously, stop it. Oh, okay. Is that a skeletal pterodactyl? A little stand called Horus? I remember, Sh I remember Josuke and Okuyasu fought Shigekyo oh, for trying to be greedy. He was being a greedy dude. Get off me. Come on. Oh, you dodged it. Ridiculous. Yeah, he keeps using his, his annoying stand. That's harvest, right? Seriously, stop. Take this. Take this, Shigekyo. Or is it Shigechi? Oh, why does he have spikes on his head? Oh, I remember when Shigekyo tried to get into class. He touched the doorknob and, and Kira p pulled the trigger and he blew up Shigechi. He blew Shigechi, Shigechi, Shigechi up. It was kind of messed up, in there, you know? Anything that touches victims is, is a living bomb. Now we're going to play to Dio versus Jonathan. Opponent's defense is increased. Hamel damage is increased. It's going to be really annoying. Here we go. Anyway, I'm probably going to use a stand. Or I'm going to use some support effects. Like this. It's a lot of gold. Dio in that body. So in a counter that crosses time. It Self, isn't it, Jojo? Yeah, I executed a flash cancel. What just happened? And that's his stand called the world. It is mura, 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 mura. It's like when he says useless, 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 useless. Yeah, that's one of his favorite catchphrases. Useless. Oh, good gravy. He's strong. Scared, aren't you? Checkmate. I did remember. Dio killed Kakyoin by using the world and puncturing through his stomach. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a sword for sure. A sword of luck. Whoa. Okay, that hurts. Let's see you handle that, bro. Please, bro, knock it off with that punch. What are you doing? Trying to, trying to roundhouse me? I don't think so. 
Oh man, I'm trying to throw. Come on. Come on. Gotta use that stand. I'm not, I'm not failing this time. Finish him off. Huh. Get tired. Perfect. Double perfect. My friend, this body will continue to serve me into the future. Huh. Got an S rank for super. I know the voice actor for Dio is Patrick Seitz, who also does the voice of Frankie from One Piece. What's next? The normal missions. Where we... Iggy Stand is the fool. Player's defense is increased. Okay. Oh, my back. Okay. Yep. I remember Iggy got killed by... He got killed by Cool Ice. Cool Ice was actually a vampire. Paul and have killed him with, with the sunlight. Now I've always killed by him. By him I'm referring to is Cool Ice. I hated that villain. The servant of Dio. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be irritating. Okay, this is where Dio wrote when Dio was riding the car with that senator. All right, serves you right. What is that thing called? Serves you right? Your stand charges forward and unleashes an attack throw. A high attack sends the opponent flying with a finishing blow. Just found him. Your, your stand charges forward and unleash set attack throw. A high attack knocks the opponent down with a finishing blow. Can be used to inflict an additional attack on a downed opponent. Is there a, what is a Dio doppelganger? Your stand takes the form of Dio and unleashes a forward charging attack. Move, movement distance and number of hits increased in X, Y, D order. But the greater the increase, the more vulnerable you become. Let's huh. The voice actor of Iggy is in, in the anime in the English dub is Derek Stephen Prince who voices Uryu from Bleach and Shino Aburami from Naruto. Okay, get off me. Oh, I did remember he bit his beak off. Episode 39. That's crazy. I stay I stay lying down if I were you. I'm not interested in you or your master. That's cool. We're going to play as John Pierre Polnareff versus Iggy. Iggy loves coffee gum. And he farts too much, doesn't he? Player's defense increased. The voice actor of Jean Pierre Polnareff in the English dub in the anime is, is Doug Erholz, who does the voice of Genichimaru 
and Azuma Sarutobi from Naruto. Let's see, who else did he do? He did Hazuma in, in uh, Blaze Blue. Well, let's carry on. Oh, really? You're going to threaten me, Iggy? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Polar Ref's got a stand user called, stand, called Ch Silver Chariot. Oh, wow. Oh, he got hit by a car. What is the secret mission? Uh, that's all I did. That's cool. There's only two of them. Nice. That's nice. Like, seriously nice. Oh, great. A Dio Doppelganger? Hmm. Come on. Yeah, he used that shell. He's using it as a defense. Oh yeah, he keeps canceling my throw. Come on, fall the ref. I know that's my favorite character, Iggy. And I like Polnareff too, and he likes women. I mean, I did remember the episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, is where, where in India, after the after defeating the Hangman. Polnareff just met. Uh, the girlfriend of, let's see here, he met the girlfriend of Whole Horse. Polarf met him until he used that stand user. On He used it on uh, on Joseph. And that, 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 that Chu Ming Ming monster, he, he used that, he took that, that pimply stand user by covering him in oil and, and destroyed him. And that it's called the Empress. And that stand user was destroyed. His it was revealed to be a beautiful woman first, but later the true form was only a hag, a fat woman. Okay, now this is gonna be Polnareff versus uh, Jodoro Kujo versus Dio Brando. Dio. Yep. Poland's health continues. Is it going to be very annoying, obnoxious? Isn't it? All I could do is finish the O off by using the ultimate move. Oh, this is. Oh, let's see here. I'm going to have to use my stand user so that I can... Uh, come on, quit using the world on me. That's the way to attack the opponent's stand. Ouch. That hurts. Come on. Wow. Enough with a useless brother. Huh. I gotta show you. Come on. Seriously, knock it off. I, I'd give it a rest already if I were you, man. What are you doing using the world on me just to freeze me? Oh no, stop with the useless stuff. 
What does that say? Why does that thing say H? Let's see. Oh, great. This is going to be crazy. He keeps on attacking me. Like, no, it's like nobody in the world cares. Oh, man. Didn't mean to use the year out of here. What are the command words that I could use? Here's your receipt. <laughs> Pretty funny. He did that to to stealing Dan, which is kind of hilarious in the end. After beating him up. That doesn't work. Come on. Oh no. Oh wow. I'm really gonna fail this, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm gonna fail this. I'm about to get close to failing. Come on now. Star Platinum. You're going down. You pissed me off. Was it worth it? He said that to Dio. There's only one reason you lost, Dio. A simple one. You pissed me off. Was it worth it? Okay. That's cool. Oh, did I forget this one? Oh, General versus Abdol. All right. Let's do it. That happened in the first episode when he went to prison. You brought this on yourself. Here we go. Turn your stand on. Do a normal attack with stand on. And is there any, any other else in the secret mission? Yes, there's only two of them. That's, that's fine. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh, I got hit by a, by a car. Let's see if I can try this. <laughs> Let's do that again. Seriously, what are you doing? Gotcha. Now use a stand user. You're out of here. Man, that's a lot of combos. Let's see here. What else is there I could use? My stand will be the judge. Like this. Oh, come on. Try to use it. What's the point? Seriously. The English version for old Joe, Joe Star is Richard Eckhart, who does the voice of Seijiro Hiko from Rurouni Kenshin, and Bato from Ghost in the Shell. Yep. Let's see what my favorite episode of of this series was. I love the one with Mo of with Mariah. Because her stand user has the ability to use electricity and magnets. He used human body as as magnets. Star Platinum. Oh, that didn't work. What we did hit was hit did was hit the stand you the stand so no problem but I'm gonna beat him. Ha! Huh. Done. I told you don't blame me for what happens. How? Jotaro despises loud women. He 
probably done 30% of the panels now. We got a long way to go. How many more panels are there? Let's see. I'm going to have to remember my math. There's a total of 13, right? Okay, seriously, what is 8 times 13? Mm, come on, think. Is it 104? Okay, we're on to the next one. Cool ice. Oh, that's cool ice. Versus cars. You guys remember Cool Ice, right? He just chopped his own head off and tried to give blood to Dio. But Dio brought him back and turned him into a vampire. What's Cool Ice's stand? Car stalks in the ultimate thing move. The opponent can't guard. Player's defense is decreased. You're nothing more than fool. You dare challenge Koss. Ultimate thing sounds ridiculous. Come on. Yeah, he uses the ultimate life form right now. It's going to be really annoying. Come on. Let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try winning without losing a round. Oh, great. He just... Now I could use my scan user. Come on. Car is really going to go through with it. Come on. We're using a throw move called I Swear I'll Kill You. Oh, is that Billy Jean? The one where Polar Ref defeated? What are you doing? Stop throwing me. Great. Stop flying around. I'm not flying around, cars. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not flying around. Come on. Let's see. What's the plan? Let's... Miasma of the Void. An attack throw which, you're in, you're, in, which you enter your stamp in charge of the opponent. Unblockable. Cannot be countered. Says so the opponent flying with the finishing blow. You are invincible until the attack ends. That's cool. Oh no. Come on. No, that didn't work. I'm gonna fail this. Oh crud, I'm really gonna fail it. Who cares? I'm totally gonna fail this. Come on, you cannot escape it. My mouth becomes a void. You'll be blown to bits. He used that move on Avdol and he tried to use it on Polar by chopping his foot off. Crazy, how crazy can it be? Dude. I could try this on for size. Like. Use the stand moves, a combo move. Combo move, please. Da -da -da. Once and for all. Da -da -da. Let's see here. Command list. Skills. How dare you? This vicious arm. Oh, Dio, not taking your legs if I do down two times. Let's see here. Come on. Enough. Seriously, come on. Come on. Win without losing any rounds. Perfect. You see, the ultimate BI recognizes Lord Dio and none other. Okay.
getting somewhere. We're gonna we're gonna fight Mariah. We're gonna play as Mariah versus Diego Brando. Who is Diego Brando anyway? He's got a style called Mount. Isn't he the the grandson of Dio? Whoa. She is metal. Okay, let's see. What's the command list? You were one fine specimen. Sorry, but you have to die now. The electricity will jar you to a crisp. Can't follow me anymore. What are you drooling over? Oh. Was that the one where, where she used those bolts all over, all over, oh, they're putting it all over, over Abdul and Joseph, and then he used Crossfire Hurricane to burn the bolts down. The ultimate move called you little turds. Wow. Diego turns into a dinosaur. Ow. Tail whip. Let's see if I can use that. One. Whoa, that's a lot of that's a lot of bolts. Oh great. Is he gonna use that horse? Whoa. You know Diego's dinosaur transformation kind of reminded me of X Drake from One Piece. One of Kaido's men who turn into dinosaurs. They turn into beasts. Mm-hmm. Come on. Let's see if I can check the secret missions. Bring this style to a level three. Let's try this one. Come on. Oh, come on, really? Oh, no. That's the way. Why are these objects on the ground? Okay, that's cool. Come on. He, oh, I had to block it. Cool. Come on. Come on. Don't, oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Here comes Billie Jean. On top of the ceiling. Did it. Oh ho 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 ho, Lord Dio, I won. I limited it as an imposter who dared imitate you. The voice actress in the English dubbed anime who who did Mariah uh, had did the same voice as Annie from Attack on Titan. That's Dio versus Kosaku. Oh, that's Yoshikage Kira's alter ego, Kosaku Kawajiri, who pretended to be the the Hayato Kawajiri's father. That a man pretends to be a dude's father. He's got a deadly queen. Bites the dust. You want peace, do you? I could give it to you if you truly want it. This is Yoshikage Kira's home. Yep. 
All right. Gotta be doing the right thing. Gotta keep myself out of trouble. That's for sure. Let's made any secret missions. Use the skill style land of. Hmm. I only had a 50 hit combo. Is that. Oh my goodness. Ow. Watch out for anything that touches. Is that Kira's father? Who uses the arrow? Who exactly would ever, ever bring the picture of his father to life? I mean, the father was killed by an explosion in episode 38 of Stardust Crus of Diamond is Unbreakable. Wow. Okay, avoid those invisible bomb spheres. Deadly Queen. He just grabbed Hayato. Third bomb. Oh, man. Out of my way, bro. I remember. He used that, that cat to destroy Akira's watch. He put he tried to put coffee on 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 Kira. I mean he tried to kiss He tried to kiss Hayato's mother. I mean, whoa, really? I love Dio Stand, the world. It's pretty awesome. Okay. See if I could. Let's see if I could throw him, so I can fill up my, fill up my ultimate move, right? Well, probably not gonna. Oh, it's Stray Cat. What is Stray Cat exactly? Let's see the uh, command list. The ultimate move. It's a steamroller, an attack that, that it's an attack throw that sends your stand charging. High attack knocks the opponent down with a big. Only Jotaro Kujo is able to reduce the damage of his attack by using I Stopped Time during the skill. However, this action consumes two bars of Jotaro Kujo's uh, Heart Heat Gauge. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Come on, bro. Oh, crud. The world! Okay. Stop time. Time to end this. It's a steamroller. Useless, 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 useless. I'll frog you. Then in the dub of the anime, he says Muda. He always says Muda. Muda means useless, right? You're a powerful stand user. I think I'll implant that flesh bud into you, into you rather than killing you. Wow, he did, the, he did the same thing to, to Polnareff and Kakyoin. It's kind of messed up. Kakyoin manipulated a nurse with Hierophant Green. And we're gonna do Iggy versus Koichi Hirosei. Koichi Hirosei appears to be he just get Hikashikita's best friend. I remember he fought, remember when he fought that that guy. Player's defense decreased. Let's see if I can use something. All right. Let's see. Are you telling me a dog can be a stand user? 
Oh, that's reverb. Koichi stand. I remember Koichi used his reverb. Reverb when, when his girlfriend Yukiko kidnapped him and took, he took took him to to her house. When she's trying to use the I hate you move on Yukiko, it didn't affect her. Her hair turned white and she got really, really mad. So yeah. Oh yeah, remember when when Josuke and Okuyasu went to the Italian restaurant? And that's Dan user that that made that made one of their their bodies hurt. And then later they heal. Oh great, Koichi just dodged it. Ridic that's just totally ridiculous. You dodged it again, Koichi. Come on. Oh great, you blocked it, bro. Untotally believable. What is the secret mission? Seriously? I'm gonna use this one. So that I can let's see if I can use this serves you right move. Gotcha. Okay, this time I gotcha. He bit his nose. He bits your opponent. He bits his opponent's nose. Iggy does after you when you're using the ultimate attack. I can tell you're a dog lover, so I went easy on you. Koichi loves dog. He loves dogs. All right. Let's do. Jo old Joseph versus Dio. Here we go. I didn't remember that episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders when, when, when Pormor lost in a gambling against Daniel J. Darby, the older, the older Darby, and he got his soul taken and used as a chip. It's a bingo chip. You gotta use Hierophant Purple. I did remember that one episode of Stardust Crusaders when when Polnareff fought against that evil doll. Yeah, that's right. Oh, let's see. What's the ultimate move called? Hermit Purple and Hamon. An attack throw in which your stand ex extends towards the opponent. High attack. Crawled up. Your stand strikes the ground and unleashes a burst of Hamon. Huh. Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? I remember that that episode where Jotaro beat up that evil uh, Death Thirteen, Death Nineteen, or Death Thirteen. It was that baby that's using that that stand user. Let's see the command list if I could use. Hamlin Overdrive. Which combo should I use? Let's see. Come on. Come on. Hermit Purple skill. Oh, come on. You're going to keep blocking me, bro. Hermit Purple. Why'd you block me? Oh, no. <laughs> Great. Why is he doing that stuff to me? Seriously, stop it. The world. Oh. 
Good grief. Ow. Now I'm going to be irritated. Come on. Oh man, I'm going to fail this. No, I'm really going to fail. Aren't I? No, I'm not. I beat him. I did it. <sighs> no, no, it can't be. Deals, the world can really stop time. It really can stop time. Let's see here. Two more to go. Two more green ones to go. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Abdal versus Mariah. The assist is Old Joseph Joe Star. Oh great. This woman can control magnetism? Yeah, exactly. And the crossfire hurricane, and let's see the secret mission is using. Hmm. Call Joseph one time. Let's do if I remember the controls one more time. Assist by pressing the right trigger. Okay. Yes, I am. Oh, wow. Seriously, knock it off with the driving, dude. Let's see, what else? If I can check this secret mission one last time. Ow, ow, ow. Use a... Hmm. Come on. Red blind. No. It's kind of mysterious. Is that all you got? Round two. Oh man, her style is at a level three. She could probably use her ultimate and attack. Come on, come on. Magician's red. Oh man, she blocked it. That's unbelievable. Gotcha. The flames can melt to even steel itself. Yep. It's like fire works against steel, like a Pokemon move. Alright. I know what's next. Jotaro Kujo versus Noriaki Kakyoin. The voice actor of Kakyoin in the anime is Kyle Hebert, who did the voice of Gohan. Kamina from Kamina from Gurren Lagann. Gohan's from Dragon Ball Z. In other words, let's see here. Besides Kakyoin, let's see. He also did the voice. Or Vato Fallman from Full Metal Alchemist. And Karasu from Yu Yu Hakusho. Nokubo. And Ryo. He also did Ryu from Street Fighter. That's not enough. Well, that's a lot of combos. Oh, great. Ta da! No oh, good grief. <laughs> wow. Let's see here. Secret mission. Use a... Let's see. Which one? Nope. Uh, whoa, whoa. Let's 
Okay, we'll do a judge. Back off. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you not calculating. Evil never wins. And you know what that means? Okay, what's next? We're getting close. Polar F versus Cool Ice. So this is the part where where Polar F avenges his friend's death. His friend Abdol. Yeah, you cannot guard. And it's gonna be really oops. Uh, yeah, okay. Seems I intimidate you, Norm. Polnareff has a French accent. Oh, come on, really? There we go, come on. You don't want to be wasting assist, do you? You can't block. Oh no. Really can't block. Silver Chariot. Let me show you my true speed. And then when it, when Silver Chariot's armor comes off, he became light. He's more fast and, and agile. Oh, stop it. Cool ice. Oh man, this battle is going to be friggin' annoying. Oh, great. Oh man, now it's going to be annoying. I'm going to fail this. Great. Cool Ice is strong. Oh man, I failed. Whoa. I just did fail. Man, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for that special rules, I might have beat him easier. Man, he's strong. How many defenses does this dude have? Come on, seriously, knock it off with that. That that fighting style, and you keep kicking me. He did the same thing. He, he did the same. Th uh oh, I keep dodging. No easy to dodge, but kind of annoying. Come on. You're gonna keep throwing me at cool ice or not? Come on. If I fail this. Definitely going to be using support items. Probably going to use it. Oh man. Let's use this. There we go. Oh man, his style is really messing with my head. Come on, throw him. Oh no. At least I dodged it. Oh great, you can't guard. You can't guard, man. 
Come on, man, you stop that. On. Oh man, I got him. I should have used that when he's standing up. Oh no. Oh, this is ridiculous. Taunts me and he lowers my my gauge. That's great. This is getting annoying. I'm gonna fail this. But not for long. Because I defeated cool ice. Oh, he sent him flying. He turned to dust. You ain't quick and nimble, cool eyes. A B rank? Well, that's fine. Okay. Probably at forty percent. All right. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna end this for now. All right. Okay, I'll end this stream for now because I'm tired. Thank you for for watching. And write down the comments below and hit the like button and that subscribe button. I will. I gave up gaming 5,000k. We'll see you next time. And stay out of trouble.